All right, so one of the uses of the dot product is the dot product is uh, actually help us helps us to relate an angle between two vectors. So if we have vector a and b with an angle of theta in between them, it turns out that cosine of theta is going to equal the dot product a dot b divided by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. So what we're going to do is find some angles between some vectors. So in part A, we've got uh, vector 1, 2, 3. Vector B is uh, negative 3, negative 1, comma 4. So we'll figure out um, uh, the angle by using, again, our little formula. So a couple things here. Uh, the magnitude of A, so that's going to be 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. Let's see, that's 9 plus, uh, so 9 and 1 is 10 plus 4. We'll get the square root of 14. The magnitude of vector b, we'll have to take negative 3 and square it, uh, negative 1 and square it, and then we'll add uh, 4 squared. So let's see, uh, negative 3 squared is 9, uh, negative 1 squared is 1, 4 squared is going to be uh, 16. So it looks like uh, we've got 10 plus 16, or the square root of 26. Now we also have to figure out the dot product, a dot b. So to do the dot product, recall we just multiply respective components. So we'll get 1 times negative 3, which is going to be negative 3, plus uh, we'll do 2 times negative 1, which is going to be negative 2, plus, and then we'll multiply 3 times 4, which is going to be 12, so let's see, negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Uh, negative 5 plus 12 is going to give us positive 7. So when we use our formula, we'll have cosine of theta. It says, again, that's a dot b over the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. So we'll get cosine of theta equals, let's see, the dot product was equal to 7. And then we have the square root of 14 times the square root of 26. So I'm going to simplify this down a little bit. I'm definitely going to start estimating here. So let's see, 14 times 26, that's 364. So we've got the square root of 364. Well, let's see, the square root of 364 is roughly 19.08. Alright, so we're almost there. We've got cosine of theta equals 7 divided by 19.08. So that's going to give us 0 0.367 after rounding. And then to figure out the angle, we'll just do inverse cosine of both sides. So we'll have to do the inverse cosine of 0 0.367. So let's see, 0 0.367. I am getting arc cosine of uh, 0 0.367 to be roughly equal to 68.47 degrees. So somewhere between 68 and 67 degrees, uh, 68 and 67, how about 68 and 69 degrees? Um, our angle is going to be somewhere between 68 and 69 degrees. I think I was looking at that 7. So, um, again, that's really all there is to it, just calculating some magnitudes, uh, calculating your dot product, uh, using inverse cosine, and uh, that's about it.